Hey, scalp of the Gia. What's the deal, man? It's the boy McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. We are back again with another video. Shouts out to everybody supporting the channel, supporting the boy DMTV. So keep liking these videos and uh, subscribing, sharing them, doing as much as you can to get these videos out. You know what I'm saying? We can build this channel back up. You know what I'm saying? Build this build this whole little community up. You know what I'm saying? How we move. We'll still be going live every night. If you want your content promoted on this channel, please email patrock. 1982 at gmail.com okay just email p-a-t-r-o-c-k-1982 at gmail.com if you're interested in promotion all right now today's video is going to be about the topic of cloning all right i don't really have too much of edited stuff right here for this i'm just gonna give you guys my synopsis on it but basically my thoughts on it because a lot of people are still confused about it i'm going to label this as part one because we're going to be doing multiple parts of this and i'm sure down the line I'm going to, have to like a few months from now, I'm going to have to spin a block on this topic and re-explain it to people. So the idea of cloning. All right. So the main thing people hit me with is, Dwayne, I don't believe they're really physically, genetically growing people. How are they growing people overnight? Like if there's a, a... Let me explain. They're not growing people. Okay. Now, in some cases, if you want to go stream theory, they might be. Now, there was a movie called Us. It was by a dude named, uh, the dude Pill. Or is it key? I forgot. Anyways, the movie Us, the guy who made Get Out made this movie Us, the second movie he directed was called Us. And in that movie, there were exact copies of people in an underground subway, okay? And if y'all don't know that there are actually cities up under us, exact cities. Go look up the game Resident Evil, Raccoon City, up under Raccoon City. There was an entire city up under Raccoon City. Go look up. They, they, they talk about this in a lot of different medias. And this stuff is just isn't made up. If the punk people want to get to California, to New York, they can do that in a matter of hours by through this train system. They got to go no planes. It's underground trains. The biggest hole ever dug was two miles. Okay. All these huge caves we have. Who knows what's up under us, man? You know what I'm saying? All this other extra stuff up under us. All right. So in the movie Us, there were actually genetic copies of every person. All right. I don't know if you've ever seen a child born when a child's born they take the child's blood. Anytime a child is born, they take the child's blood. Say we're going to run tests on it. Doctors are always taking somebody's blood out of their body. Now, this, like I said, this is an extreme theory. You're doing extreme reaching. You're DOSM right now. If you're going for this theory, stream reaching, okay? I'm pulling all of my DOSM out, okay? I told y'all, man, I'll be reaching in these videos. But for conspiracy purposes only, to help people understand the idea of cloning, I do believe in my heart of hearts that they have genetic makeups of us. As soon as we're born, that grows right along with us. Everybody. I think so. You know what I'm saying? Um, and very important people, especially them, you know, your politicians or celebrities and all those type of people. I believe they specifically have genetic people like that. Now, how do they get the person to talk like them, walk like them, unless they already had this person in another area, train them to be this person? The clone is not going to be able to, you know, speak and act like that person. Going to have their own personality. Like in the movie Us, all they did was grunt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that movie needed its own breakdown as well. They had so much symbolism in that movie, man. They do it in all these movies. All these people, all those celebrities and politicians be knowing about this stuff. All right. Now, another part about the idea of cloning would be that they get a lookalike or somebody who looks like you have your facial structure and put a mask on you. OK, they have. Have y'all ever seen the movie Austin Powers, Nutty Professor or I have seen the movie Big Mama's House by Martin Lawrence, White Chicks. Those movies, they show you the how they make somebody else look like another person. They show you clear as day and they do it in comedy. You know, um, if you watch Austin Powers, he has a whole fat suit on an entire fat suit. And he played a character named Fat Bastard. Now, Fat Bastard did look like a real actual fat. He looked very disgusting. All right. Uh, sometimes they, they can do it with the, uh, the, if they want, they can go through limps and make you like a different person. Like how they did the Grinch, how they did, um, uh, a lot of, I got to wash this car, man. There's so much deck on bird shit. I parked up under this tree. I wasn't, I'm part where I always park and there's a bunch of bird shit on, my, on this car. I got to clean it. It's just disgusting. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at it and I got to eat too, man. I'm about to eat after this video. I'm like, bro, I'm not going to be in the building to eat, man. It looks disgusting. But anyways, um, uh, <laughs> They showed us how people can wear these masks and these suits when these movies and just play out these roles. Now, how would it be highly uncomfortable for a celebrity 
to do this on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't see them in their personal lives. We barely ever see them out in public. And so we only see them when the cameras are rolling, okay? It's rare that you don't see, you know, your most famous one, Gucci Man, or somebody like that. So I'm gonna give you guys an example of what a lookalike would probably be. So say that right now, you got me on camera, right? They got a guy that said, hey, you and Dwayne McClain look kind of alike. You got big ass eyes, you have a huge nose. You kind of could be him. So he's probably been practicing and working on my voice for like the past two to three years since I've been on the internet, learning my mannerisms, learning everything. Say I blow up, right? Say I get a millions of subscribers or something like that overnight. And I'm I'm up and I turn their offer down. They're like, hey, Dwayne, you got a lot of influence. You got you're a really friendly person. We want to we want to pull you on these podcasts. I'm like, you know what? Nah, I don't want to do it. They're like, oh, you know, you're gonna say no. Okay, no problem. They take me out, bring in the lookalike. They they they'll probably say, oh, Dwayne got arrested. He's gonna be gone for six months. I leave for six months, right? I come back. I'm swole and I got a fake beard on and it's a mask. Okay. That's the uh, that's the most generic way of cloning, how I look at it. I think NBA Young Boy's a clone. I think Kodak Black's a clone. I, and when I mean a clone, I don't mean the genetic makeup of a clone. Like somebody genetically grew a person in the incubator and made them. I think somebody is either an actor who's playing them, a highly trained, very skilled actor. They're not getting just your, your soap opera actors. These guys are getting the best actors. Highly skilled, highly trained actor. They're probably getting... Um, Somebody who, who has the same face choices, but probably wearing a mask like that. You know, they probably got the nice little rubber mask. And like I said, these guys, all, this, all, this never random. They never live real life events. You know how we have like real life situations come on? Every time a celebrity's on, on TV, it's lights, camera, action. Okay, it's lights, camera, action whenever a celebrity's on TV. So you've seen them wear, that's why, that's why they'd be prepared to wear their mask and everything. You know what I'm saying? So... With that being said, would there be uh, any other questions that we probably need to go over on as far as this uh, cloning thing? So I do think that they are doing genetic makeup. I do think they are wearing a mask out there. And I do think a, a bunch of celebrities have been cloned, a lot of them. And, people, and I hate when people say, oh, it's just plastic surgery. No, bro. Ain't no plastic surgery, man. The people gone. They gone. I think I, Scissor's one. I'm doing a video on Scissor. As we should be coming out mid-March. That will be on YouTube for y'all. It won't be members only. I will have some members only videos. And there will be some Patreon videos coming up. My next Patreon video is LeBron James. It will be a four-part, three-part series. Because it's going to be long. And I'll, I'll also upload the whole full video if you don't want to watch the parts. My Notorious B.I.G. Part 1, 2, and 3 is on Patreon right now to watch and view. My Chris Brown breakdowns on there as well. Uh, we, just, we, we will be doing a lot of work this year. So y'all stay tuned in on that. But I do believe that a lot of celebrities are cloned up. And it's crazy that once you get to Hollywood, you have to look different and be different. That's crazy. Man. It's like the world is just not going to accept you for who you are. That's why the world's messed up. You know, I don't want to divvy off the topic, but the world is messed up because as soon as a celebrity gets in front of the camera, they put it in their mind that, hey, you can't have crooked teeth. You can't have bad skin. You can't look like this. You can't be this way. You're going to have to fix all this and get all this plastic surgery and look fake. That's why everybody out here is looking fake. And that's why I really despise celebrities. You know what I'm saying? I really despise them because they are sending the wrong message to people. Y'all look good the way y'all are. All of y'all. Y'all all look straight the way y'all fine. Y'all be doing all the extra stuff y'all be doing. All right? If you want to get some extra like nose job or something like that, cool. But don't overdo it. You know what I mean? I can't tell you what to do with your body, but I don't even know y'all good. All right? Everybody's good. All right? Make sure this ain't recording. I'm mad if they won't record them. But why are we mad? But anyways, that's just how I feel about this topic, man. You know, I just, I do feel like a lot of these people have. Um, rumor had it, that's why they killed off Bernie Mac. He said he's seen that. The only reason I never tackled the Bernie Mac video is because I never had enough proof. You know what I'm saying? And besides the dude talking about it. You know, I don't mind using that video of the dude Donnell, Donnell Marshall, I think is the name. But um, I want to see some documentation or something, like a video of him saying it or something like that. Or something like, I got, I'm going to have to dive into the Bernie Mac video. That will be coming out soon because I, I never attack with it. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all want to hear it from me. But um, anyways, man, let me know what else y'all want me to blog on. We will be having some more videos coming out, more content coming out for y'all. It's the boy Don McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. I am out. Oh, what is that?